Uh, a really good job done by him. Highlights of the race, Gary Pearson making the best start and uh, Pat Blakeney Edwards Alpha dropping away a little bit as the cars accelerated off down towards the right-hander of Madwick. But it was Gary Pearson that led initially. Lucas Halusa, however, had other ideas about the outcome of this race and uh, very quickly took the battle to him as the cars accelerated their way towards the chicane. The gap came down and down between the pair, heading up towards the timing line, uh, but out on the circuit. So it was this brave move around the outside that uh, took the advantage for Lucas Alusa, and he went round the outside to take the lead as they came through Woodcock Corner and managed to put himself ahead of the alpha of Gary Pearson. Once ahead, he was able to stay there. The gap somewhat elasticated as it stretched, and then it closed. Gary Pearson trying everything to get onto terms up to the very end of the race, and uh, he got within a fifth of a second, set the fastest lap, but couldn't quite get within striking distance. And as the cars headed towards the chequered flag, Lucas Halusa was very much the man in charge. And so as the cars came out of the chicane, made the run up towards the timing line, Lucas Halusa winning the Earl Howe Trophy and coming home in second place, Gary Pearson, the margin point 3.27 of a second at the end of the race. So it's a win for...